Hi everyone, Daisy here again with another layout for Spiegel Mom Scraps. Today I'm going to be using my Fuse tool again. I absolutely love my Fuse tool and um, I like to show you layouts where I use it. So here you're going to see me mess up pretty bad. Actually, not pretty bad, but my Fuse tool had not heated up well enough and I didn't test it before I started sealing everything. So then here when I go to like open up the pockets to put sequins in, I realize, oh, this isn't even adhered at all. So I end up going over it like four or five times um, before it's actually hot enough. So it's always important that you give your few fuse tool, excuse me, enough time to warm up and it usually takes probably a good 10-15 minutes before it's really hot enough to seal really well. And then always, always, always check your pockets before you dump the sequins in because you will regret finding out the hard way that your sequin pocket has not been sealed. <laughs> Trust me, I'm well aware. <laughs> so I am using these gorgeous sequins and just stuffing. So I'm making strips basically is what I'm doing. And I'm just stuffing them full of these sequins. Now this mix has some mint green mixed in with them and I do not want to use those. So you see me sorting them out. I'm only going to use the coral colored ones because um, I'm doing kind of a monochromatic layout here and I did not want any of the green ones in there. I'm sure a couple of them probably make their way in, which isn't, you know, the end of the world. But So I generally use something like a pencil or a pen or here I have my jewel picker to kind of hold open my pocket because otherwise it can get to be pretty difficult to get the sequins to go in because the pocket keeps wanting to kind of shut on itself. Um, oh, did I say it? I I'm sorry if I didn't say the sequin mix I'm using is called Summer Splash if, if you're wondering. I don't think I said the name of them. But um, yeah, so I just stuff it as full as I think it needs to be and then I seal the end shut and then that's it. And I did the sec I only did two of them and then I did the second one off camera because um, I think I got a phone call or something. So I'm going to be using a couple of papers from Heidi Swap uh, Art Walk. And this one was the perfect color and it has all these sayings on it. So I'm going to cut them down into kind of smaller strips. And I thought, I was a little disappointed because that one that says Joy Sparker, I thought it said Joy Sparkler or something like that. So I thought it would be perfect for a Spiegel Mom Scraps layout. Um, it's still perfect for this layout, but I was just a little disappointed. And then this other paper here had some like paint stripes on it and so I cut out the two colors that worked with my layout and I'm kind of fussy cutting out the strips here. I was thinking about doing my own painting stripes but I don't know I just didn't wasn't feeling it at the time and I had these so I figured I would just why not it's already pre-made for me right. I think it was because I was doing the fuse and everything and that takes some time and you know I didn't want to wait for paint to dry and all that so. Alright so I'm just trying to trim the ends so that they don't look like they were like cut straight off of a, a sheet of paper so I kind of curved the edges a little bit. And then just trying to figure out placement here. I do have two uh, four by six photos, but I do end up cutting them down to I think three and a half by three and a half Because they were just uh, really big And you can kind of see the one over there so the photos are one is of me I was sitting on the hammock and taking 
selfies and then my dog of course had to join me because she has to give me kisses all the time. I had gone outside without telling her I was going outside so she freaked out a little bit until she found me and then she had to butt right in. So she is my joy sparker. She is, I am her person and she is my dog and if you hear any snoring right now, that's actually her. She's like passed out next to me because it's like three o'clock in the morning. But um, yeah, so anyhow, back to the layout. I went off screen and stitched down each one of these uh, stripes because I thought it would work better to stitch down the fused pockets and also it gives it a little bit interest. And I just used some white thread for that. And now I'm using two gelatos. These are a new purchase for me. And um, I chose, I think one's coral and one's like blush pink or something like that. And I'm mixing them together and just adding some sprinkles. I know, super exciting. You get a brand new mixed media project, product and what do you do with it? You sprinkle it in teeny tiny little sprinkles. Super exciting. And I keep uh, touching the tip of my paintbrush down to the page because I want to add a little bit bigger of sprinkles. And now I'm going to use the Shimmers paint and this one is called Gold and Roses and it is a, I think it's like a pink color with a gold metallic mixed into it and it's just really beautiful. And it added just a hint of a darker color which I really liked um, because those paint stripes that I cut out have a darker edge to them and so I thought it would go really well. So I'm going to pull in three of these rainbows and these are from another Heidi Swap paper also from Art Walk and the colors go perfectly so I thought I they were safe to use on this um, and then I go kind of off the monochromatic thing so I have these Pink Fresh Studio florals and I'm going to pull in some pink and yellow ones because I didn't have the exact right color and I didn't have any other embellishments that were exactly this color so I thought that if I layered the pink and the yellow together that they would look like that kind of corally orangey color that I'm using so and I'm just going to create three different or three clusters here and I was thinking about using some of these but I didn't like the transparent um, nature of them but I did decide so these are also from Pink Fresh Studio and they're gold foil and I decided to add a little leaf cluster to each one of my embellishments and I pulled out a bunch of these puffy stickers as well and um, this one is Paige Evans Whimsical and I'm pulling out a couple of things. That little tab that says love this uh, and two butterflies I think. And then off of this Pink Fresh Studio I pull off this puffy sticker that says oh, something out of the ordinary or something. I can't remember exactly what the sticker says now. But I'm going to add it to this bottom cluster here. And I'm just starting to glue stuff down even though I haven't tried my photos out. But I wanted to... Um, I didn't want the stuff to move because I liked the way it was looking. And as soon as it moves then I hate it and I can't ever get it back the way it was. So, But now I feel like because there is that like word no that phrase sticker in the top cluster and then there's one in the bottom I feel like I need another one in the center one center cluster um, but I struggle to find one until these 3d embellishments I pull off this little page flag but yeah so if you are not already um, 
a member of the Spread the Sparkle Facebook group, you should definitely go to Facebook and search for that and join. That's where you're going to find uh, the new releases, any specials that are going on or sales that are going on, as well as see all of the inspiration from the sparklers. There's also the uh, weekly newsletter that goes out on Sundays, and you have access to exclusive cut files, um, occasional uh, sales, and also inspiration that's delivered directly to your email. So that you sign up for um, on the Spiegel Mom Scrap website. And then there's always my code DAISY15 uh, for 15% off your next purchase in the shop. That's on everything except for the pre-releases. The pre-release, you already get about a 20% discount. So um, if you get all of you get all of the sequins for the month, and it's about a 20% discount. So the 15% doesn't work on that as well. I just put a little piece of vellum behind my photos here, and I'm going to pop this one up. And then I think that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again next time. Bye.